I want to take a closer look at what we know about this property because, like I said, searches have happened here before. So here is exactly what we know about this property. The 245 acre farms located on Pascal Ballard Lane. That's right near the intersection of Loretta Road and Bardstown Road. It's about nine miles south of Dard downtown Bardstown. Rosemary Houck, Brooke Houck's mom, actually owns the property. Again, it's the last place Crystal Rogers is known to be alive. That's according to police. And it is not the first time investigators have searched here. Our records reveal the family farm has been searched at least three other times in the last seven years. Within days of Crystal Rogers' family reporting her missing, police were at the boyfriend's family farm, closing down Pascal Ballard Lane with police cruisers. This video from July 10th, 2015, is the first time we know investigators were on the property. Family told us they watched law enforcement spend about four hours on the farm. They would have something. I mean, you gotta have probable cause. So hopefully they found something. And they're looking for more. After this search, Tommy Ballard, Crystal's father, asked the Houck family for access to the farm. He said he wanted to search the farm with cadaver dogs, but he said the Houks told him no. Fast forward 14 months, investigators were back on the Houck property, this time with a search warrant and lots of extra hands. So this property is the last property that she was seen in, as far as we've been told. In total, 18 cadaver dogs, the LMPD dive team, and more than two dozen investigators took part in this search. It lasted two days. Detectives told our crew they found items of interest and they towed those items away. I'm hopeful. I think we're moving in the right direction. Former lead detective on the case, John Snow, told us he believed a crime happened on the property. That was a belief shared by Crystal's family. I mean, I felt that the whole time, whether they find something on the farm or they don't, I still feel like that's where it happened. FBI was on scene for this search more than six years ago, helping local investigators comb through hundreds of acres of farmland. It was four years before the federal agency took the lead on the case, and that would be the next time we saw law enforcement on the farm. Video from Sky 11 showing us the work underway, August of 2020. On this day, more than 150 state and federal agents served more than nine federal search warrants on multiple properties including the farm. We want to get it right. We want to ensure that uh, that our part in this investigation, that we are uh, doing everything we can to solve the case. And two years later, renewed focus on the farm, seemingly the next step to find answers and take this case to court.